Hey guys, Connor here from One Fine Shine, and today we're going to show you how to clean up a door panel, get in all the little nooks and crannies, and uh, shine it up to protect it. So first, what we're going to do is we got some uh, interior cleaner here. Um, it's diluted 10 to 1 ratio, so it's not too strong because this door isn't really too beat up. So it's got a little bit of staining, some dirt, and other uh, build up. So we don't want to use anything too aggressive because if we do, then there's a high chance that any of the icons on the locks or the buttons or the handles or any of the vinyl here can be um, actually fully removed. So first what we want to do is um, we're going to blow everything with compressed air. So this is called the Tornador blow gun, but any air gun will be fine. Um, this is what we use here. So you want to blow all the loose dirt off of everything. So we want to we want to blow all the loose dirt and prep the surface and get it ready to uh, clean uh, to clean up. So we're going to blow everything. Now we blow up all the loose dirt, and now we don't have to worry about And uh, After we spray our cleaning solution, we're gonna take a soft boar's hair uh, interior brush, so it's very soft, so it's not gonna hurt anything, but it helps get into like the door handle pocket in between the buttons and the lock, and uh, so we're gonna clean all that up. So we're gonna spray down the door surface. We wanna let this sit on, uh, let the cleaning solution sit on the door panel, kind of let it drip down so it covers the whole surface area. Then you want to prime your brush as well. Um, so we have a little bit of lubrication. We're not just taking a dry brush to the surface and just a little bit of elbow grease. So we're just going to scrub everything down. So you can see now with the cleaning solution, it's starting to foam up a bit. So now it's the surface is being agitated and we want to um, make sure we pull any of the uh, dirt and other buildup that's on here, so we want to make sure that um, everything gets thoroughly cleaned. And you really just only have to scrub, I do about two passes, like so I'll work my way from top to bottom, and then I'll work my way up from bottom to top, so I make sure I cover all the surface area of the door panel that needs to be addressed. And then to get behind the door handle here, you just want to pull back on the door handle so we get back and get behind it. So make sure that area gets covered fully. And after you complete all the scrubbing, you just want to take a microfiber towel and fold it up. And so we're going to wipe all the heavy uh, clean, heavy portion of the cleaner off because we're going to blow this air dry next to the compressed air but you want to do this step first so if you have all this heavy cleaning solution on here and you take compressed air to it it's all all the overspray from the cleaner and from the air gun is going to go everywhere and you're just going to create more work that you can easily avoid that you don't need to do So now we're going to flip the towel over so now you can see all the dirt that was pulled off. So it had a good amount of buildup on there. Now we're going to flip it over to the cleaner side because there's still going to be product trapped in the little cracks here, anywhere where there's any little line that air can get through. So in between the buttons, so now we're going to blow a compressed air to get all the loose and remaining dirt and product out. <laughs> All 
All right, so next, um, I should mention this the first time, but this is the cloth piece of the door handle here, and obviously I didn't clean that because there's a little bit of dirt buildup in here, so we're gonna spray some cleaning solution on that, and then we're gonna scrub it to agitate the surface, and then we're gonna steam it to pull everything out of the fiber of the carpeting material that's here. Get everything loosened up. This is a brush head under here, and I have tied to it a, uh, a terry towel or a terry cloth. So this is going to help bring up the remaining stain that's on the surface here. So, and not only is it going to be cleaned, it's also going to be cleaned and disinfected as well. And all it's being used is hot distilled water, so no harmful chemicals or anything are going into the process with that. See a little bit of dirt came up from there. So now we'll dry it and with the towel and then we'll blow it air dry. It. all clean. Next what we're going to do is we're going to clean the weather stripping here and then, a, and then the rest of the door jam on the top here at the side and then up here. And all we're going to do for that is we are going to fold up our towel here and then take our cleaning solution, damp the towel, and then you just want to just lightly just scrub everything down. If this was a little more dirtier or built up with dirt or anything, you can take a, br a soft uh, brush again as well. But in this case, this door is in too bad a shape, so we can do it all by hand. And same thing again, because there's going to be a little bit of streakiness, so you just take another dry microfiber, and we're going to wipe it down and blow dry with compressed air. Everything is completely cleaned and scrubbed down and dry. So now we want to condition the surface. What we're going to use here is 303 uh, UV protectant. So this is non-oil based, it's water based, and it'll be dried to the touch. And what's nice about this product is it gives you more of, of a, a flat or dull type look or a new car look rather than having it being very glossy and greasy because if it's too shiny, it doesn't look really good. A clean or super clean surface, rather, is what is going to look way better than if it was too glossy and oily. So, this is what I like to use. And then we'll take a blue microfiber applicator pad. So, spray some on the head. 
and then just, you know, like kind of like painting a picture, just colored in, you know, the whole bit, anything that's vinyl, plastic. No really specific way to doing it, but um, with this particular stuff, you always want to, whenever you apply something, you always want to apply it to the applicator of choice, and you'll save more product that way, it'll go on more evenly. And then after you get it all spread, I let it sit for about a minute and then I'll wipe it down with a microfiber towel to uh, fully even out uh, and level out the surface. Protected and a little shiny, so more of a flat look, but it looks new, but it's also dry to the touch. So, nothing there, and that is how you clean and shine the door panel on the door jam correctly. Enjoy your day. Hey guys, if you like what you see, have any questions, you can leave a comment below. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel, um, all my information is located below for Instagram and Facebook. And we'll see you next time.